So in this video, I'm going to show you and navigate you around the interface of Google Classroom for a teacher. So the first thing you'll notice is the class code is here. Now that's the class code that children would need to, to join. If we click this little square here, we can display it or we can put it full screen and then students can then use this to join the classroom. This little drop down menu just gives you more details. Over here, we've got the option to upload a photo. So this background photo doesn't have to look like this. You can either, and you can also select a theme by clicking on this and then choosing different themes. So let's compare this with a student one. This is what the student sees. They can't see the class code. They can't change the background, but the teacher can. And also you've got this information here where you as a teacher can communicate with a class. The students cannot do that, but they can add something. Now you can change that within settings. So if I go up to our settings button, because in the teacher view, you have this. In the student view, you don't. So let's go to the settings. And this is all the different settings for your Google Classroom. Here's your code. You can display, copy, reset, and disable your code. And then here is your stream. So at the moment, it's set to students can post and comment. But you can change this to students can only comment or only teachers can post or comment. This is quite important if you haven't taught children how to effectively and appropriately comment on a social media page because some children may start putting things like hi and hello and all this, unaware that everybody else can actually see this. So I would set this up as only teachers can post or comment immediately, so that way the students can't actually do anything until you're ready for them to do so. Let's save that. So teachers can comment here. You can send it to all students or you can send it to specific students. Now I haven't got any students in my classroom, but if you did, you can specify which student you actually want to send that comment to. In addition, you can link things to this as well. So you can add a website link, you can add a YouTube video, you can add a Google Drive document to here, or you can upload something um, as an attachment. And then we're going to click on the drop down menu here, we can either post this immediately, schedule it, or save it as a draft. So I'm just going to post that to my wall, and there we've got our announcement. Now let's go to classwork. Now classwork, this is where you're going to create your assignments and your quizzes. So here is your create button. In another video, we're going to look at how we can add one of these. And then over here, we've got people. Now people is where you can add other teachers. So if I want to add other teachers, I can click on this and add the teachers like the TAs or the teachers, you may be team teaching, or you may want your head teacher to have access to the classroom. So you can add those teachers there. Now, as well as inviting students by the class code, you can invite students automatically. So if I was to click on this, and then I can type all the students' email addresses in there. So if you've got a list on a spreadsheet of all their email addresses, you can copy and paste that in there and then invite them. Then they don't have to put the class code in. All they will do is in their dashboard, they would get another classroom come up and it will say accept invite. They will click on accept invite and then they would automatically be in the classroom. So that's a good way of inviting students if you don't want them to log in via the code or and you have an easy list of emails that you can copy and paste in. That's the navigation of the teacher view of Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.